in the previous episode. The team's overconfidence leads to a terrifying mistake. Vince is panicking in the pitch dark cave. He's breathing water. There's zero visibility. In amongst all this absolute mayhem, Baltar grabs Vince around the neck, pulls him straight, rips his mouthpiece out, turns it the right way up, puts it back in his mouth, settles him down. He then, holding Vince, gropes his way towards the entrance of this of his chamber, finds the tunnel that leads out. And I was already out in the channel. My panic was over. But I just saw a cloud of mud and these two guys emerge. You know, like, like Baltar leading a blind person. And they burst out into the, into the green water of the channel. After the disaster yesterday, the crew regroups. The incident is a sobering reminder of just how dangerous this quest is. The caves are uncharted. Crocodiles are cold-blooded hunters. And panicking in their presence can get someone killed. Not only that, but millions of years of evolution have ensured that this reptile has the world's strongest bite force. More than two tons, or 5,000 pounds of pressure, are contained in those jaws. In comparison, a lion's bite force is a mere 1,000 pounds. The great white shark measures in at only 4,000 pounds. Crocodiles win, hands down. But diving with crocodiles is this team's mission, and they're going in. It's sunrise, the time when crocodiles come out of the water and bask at the edge to get warm. The very first croc we come across is an absolute monster, a real beast. and it slips into the water when it sees the boat. Now our plan is to head back upstream, up current, get into the water and drift down onto it. So we plunge in and we can't see anything. We know this crocodile is downstream of us, but we don't know where it is. Now these things are masters of hiding in this environment. They've evolved to do this over millions of years. So we're drifting down, we're trying to slow ourselves down, and we, we're going through this, this debris and these snags underwater, and we know that a four metre crocodile is waiting for us, facing upstream because they face into the current. The team must be on full alert at all times. The reptile could be hiding anywhere. Camouflaged in the submerged grass. Silent, still and waiting. We come to a steep cutaway, a sheer bank underwater. And as I look up, we work out that we're actually under the chin of a massive croc lying on the bank. And it's a very dangerous situation because the further up you go towards the surface, the closer you are to the danger zone. That's where the crocs attack. That's where they are their most aggressive towards us. So I ended up hanging onto this mud bank about three feet beneath this crocodile's jaw. Wisely, they leave this croc alone. But a little further ahead, there it is, the monster from the bank. Crocodiles can reach six meters in length or about 20 feet. This one 
is over 13 feet. It's about as big as they get in the delta. And it's the dominant male in this pool. So it doesn't give way to anything. Crocodiles are territorial. And if this one feels threatened in any way, it will not hesitate to defend itself. Wetsuits and underwater cameras are no defense against those razor sharp teeth and lethal jaws. As it lumbers off in its own streamlined way, we, we get this sense of, of absolute relief. And that's when the adrenaline actually starts to surge. You really feel it then. The sense of relief is, is profound, but you, you sort of have this shaky after effect. And obviously the first thought in your mind is you hope this animal doesn't double back just outside the visibility and come up behind you. Baltar in the lead, the team swims on. And then suddenly, from its hiding place in a reed bank, another huge croc appears. The team follows in hot pursuit. And the crocodile, realizing it's being tailed, disappears into one of the notorious dark caves. Boltar wants to follow it in, but there's sediment being kicked up from the mud and rotting vegetation. The cave is pitch dark, and this time they know there's a crocodile inside. In the next episode, it's Graham's call. Risk their lives by going into the cave or lose out on what could potentially be the ultimate encounter.